What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hopefully everybody out there that's been watching the channel, keeping up with the videos, making the recipes, tagging me on the gram. Hopefully y'all are having as much success with this diet as I am, man. I'm teaching y'all how to live anabolic one recipe at a time. Speaking of anabolic recipes, probably the number one most utilized recipe in my arsenal is good old fashioned anabolic French toast. Simple, easy, effective. I have it literally every morning. And after I smother it with syrup, sit down and get ready to take that first bite, I always say a prayer to the God of anabolic French toast. Toast. Greg Doucette. It increases gains at least 60%. In today's video, man, we're gonna put a twist on the anabolic classic. We will be making crunchy anabolic French toast. Not only is it still covered in syrup, anabolic, extremely delicious, but it has a crunchy outer shell. It's like taking the anabolic French toast and letting it live a turtle's life. Simple, easy, effective, delicious, anabolic. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, this recipe is now in there, along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. Are you trying to follow this diet? Are you trying to eat what you want, when you want, while still making gains? then by God, this recipe book might be the best investment you've ever made. Mark my words, man, we're changing lives around here. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Step one, you're gonna need a food scale and a mixing bowl. You know, a food scale is a lot like a driver's license. You don't need one, but you sure ain't getting anywhere without it. First thing we gotta do is make our French toast batter. We're gonna need 96 grams of liquid egg whites. Any brand will do, bud. You really can't mess up egg whites. Next up, we need 32 grams of a whey protein powder. As always, I'm using that final boss cinnamon toast swirl, baby. By the time you see this, we might even be back in stock, but if we aren't, man, I apologize. This stuff's hotter than Furby's in the 90s. Now we just need 30 grams of sugar-free syrup. I'm using using that Miss Buttersworth, baby. The best sugar-free syrup you're gonna buy. Now that Miss Buttersworth's a real woman. Now we're just gonna add in about two grams of cinnamon. And finally, we're gonna put three grams of artificial sweeteners in this. I'm using these sucralose packets from HEB. Put them right in there. And artificial sweeteners get a bad rap. I really don't know why. The only negative I've seen from eating so many of them is that I end up throwing away all the empty wrappers that probably have a little bit of dust left in them, right? Well, a bunch of rats keep getting into my trash and they've now mutated and they're the size of a small dog. For real, me and Logan were coming in from potty, picked him up, was walking up the steps, and it wasn't until I was on the sixth step that I looked down and realized I was holding a rat. Logan was being dragged into the bushes. Other than that, though, they're perfectly safe. Now just get you a whisk and mix it all together. And once you got it mixed up, she should look a little sticky, a little thick, a little anabolic. Now that our batter's out the way, we just need two pieces of basic plain white bread. The only rule I have when selecting white bread is that always make sure you're buying the lowest calorie white bread you can. That's why I buy this. I buy it for no other reason other than it's the lowest calorie I can find, ma'am. So we got our batter, check, and white bread, check. The final thing we need to do is get our crispy bread in. And what better way to accomplish this than with the good old fashioned corn flake method. We're using plain generic corn flakes because you're gonna get the most volume for the lowest amount of calories. Other cereals might work. You gotta use twice as much, you're adding them calories, man but this is gonna get us where we wanna be. In a small bowl, weigh out 40 grams. You guys know the drill. Take your cornflakes, toss them in a baggie, grab yourself a plus three tool of bludgeoning and get to breaking them up. Now we just transfer them back to our bowl. At this point, we got everything we need. Now, like the Avengers, we just gotta assemble. Take a piece of your bread and put it down in our batter. I got these ingredients perfectly lined up to where we should be able to use all of this for just these two pieces of bread, man. It might be a little sticky, but we want it that way so the cornflakes stick to it, man. And by the way, you taste this batter, it's incredible. And once it's done, just sit it right on your plate and do the same with the other piece of bread. Both pieces of bread are dipped and coated. Now, just go in and any extra of this mixture you have, put it right on top, man. This batter is extremely anabolic. We don't wanna miss out on any of it. Now all we need to do is coat our anabolic French toast with our cornflake breading. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top of these. And keep in mind, man, you could have thrown this in a mixing bowl and just tossed your toast in there and let it soak it up, but I got a thumbnail to make, guys. The thumbnail ain't good, you guys don't watch. So if you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button for me, man. It mean the world. We have quite a bit of cornflakes here. This is gonna be a pretty big breading, man. Feel free to move it around. It should stick to it since our batter is so sticky. And once one side is done, go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. And once you're finished, both pieces should be fully breaded and look like this. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we're at this point, our French toast is almost done, man. All you gotta do, take a skillet, preheat it to a medium heat, spray it with some nonstick spray, and then set each piece of your French toast down in here. And then take any extra cornflakes you have and you can press them down onto the top. We want these to be crunchy, man. Ain't no such thing as too many flakes. That timeless classic that is the cornflake method. Now this ain't gonna take long to cook at all. Maybe about two to three minutes aside. Nothing crazy. So just stand here, chill, grab a spatula, observe and be ready to flip when that time comes, man. You've been training your whole life for this. Don't you fail now. And after a few minutes, just go in, give her a nice flip. Ooh. And boom, our anabolic crunchy French toast is officially done, man. We look at this, look how it just sticks to it. But it wouldn't be anabolic French toast without the syrup. So we'll go in and add a nice little top into this, man. Ooh, there's not many things better than putting syrup on the French toast, am I right? Perfect. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and give this thing a try together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, let's get down to business, man. Anabolic crunchy French toast. Hope that thumbnail turned out good because I know my crunchiness is getting soggy bathing in this syrup. Things I do for this channel, let me tell you. First off, it's breakfast. I need a kick, man. I quit drinking coffee a long time ago. Instead, I do between half to one scoop of pre every morning. But Rem, it's pre-workout. Well, every day for me has the intensity of a workout, so I'll take it any time. Say a little half scoop there. Boop, look at that, Brandon. Give her a little twist. Ah, no more coffee for me, bud. I'm gonna take this rocket pop straight to the moon. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, code RGF10, 10%, two day shipping. You guys know to drill, man. I ain't even gotta tell you. All right, let's get in here, man, and get a bite. Okay, let's do this one right here. Boom, 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 little bit of everything. I think she's a keeper. Three, two, one, let go. Mm. I mean, it goes without saying, right? We all love anabolic French toast. We do. I don't feel like you'd be here if you didn't. This, though, man, it's a couple more steps, but if you wanna change it up, man, keep it interesting, oh, you can't beat it. Mm. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys too, man. I try these recipes before I ever make them on the channel, right? Make sure they're good. I tried this with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I tried it with more egg white. I tried so many combinations and none of them turned out good. And this is what I landed on. So you know, if you do this one, you're in for a real treat. This is just too good, bud. Mm. And the batter we use has like a cinnamon flavor, obviously from the protein, but vanilla will work too. Don't be fooled by that. But we added the sugar-free syrup in the batter as well. So it's like thick, it's creamy. The syrup's like baked into the French toast already. Then you add more syrup on top of that. I mean, come on, bud. It's a recipe for success. Oh gosh. We're getting down to the nitty gritty now, boys. My goal with these recipes, as always, man, is for you to be stuffed afterwards. I want you to be full. You know how many people were so surprised they were stuffed after the anabolic McFlurry? The Reese's Blizzard? That's the point. That's what the anabolic diet is all about. You shouldn't be starving. You shouldn't be going through the day like a zombie. You're eating good food. You're eating all day. You're eating enough protein to where you're always satiated. You're always building muscle. You're always optimal, man. That is the goal. I told y'all guys I eat all these on here in front of that. First person to make this and tag me on Instagram with it, you're definitely getting a Christmas card. Hum. I ain't putting money in it though. We are down to the final bite and I am stuffed, man. Stuffed. Hum, hum, hum. Boom. The perfect anabolic breakfast with a little twist. This breakfast is so anabolic. If scientists looked at your blood under a microscope after you ate this, when they zoomed in, all they'd see was little pieces of anabolic French toast. So what I'm saying is don't go get blood work after eating this. Just don't do it. In this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did, step by step, all that good stuff, you end up with 442 calories, only two grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, six 64 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. 42 grams of protein and what could literally be classified as dessert. I'll take it, man. Not only will you be full, you'll be satisfied. You're gonna feel like you accomplished something. You got in that kitchen, you made something. You can snap some pics for the gram. You can show it off to your friends and they're really gonna wonder how you're eating this stuff and you're leaning out at the same time, making gains, but it's a mystery. So I feel like we got a secret here on this channel. There's other people still eating chicken, rice, and broccoli. There's other people that won't touch a pizza or get within nine yards of one. But us, we know what's up here on this channel, man. We know what's up. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe, book link in description it's been updated this recipe's in there every other recipe's in there if you're serious about the anabolic diet and you want a handy guide right in your pocket get this thing man it's right on your phone you want something you're at the grocery store what do i need here oh, okay that's what i need i'm gonna buy it it's a shopping list recipe got all in one man it's all you really need man i guarantee it and if all this is kind of confusing to you and you're like i don't have to think about it at all i just want to have a plan laid out for me meal by meal tell me what to weigh tell me what to eat rem hey no problem i can do that for you check out my site remingtonjamesfitness.com fill out a questionnaire for me i'll get to work on 
on a program for you. I'll make it so easy. All you gotta do is do it, man. Just show up and get her done. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, man. We're gaining pretty quick. I want that million by the end of the year. Don't know if it's gonna happen, but we might as well try, right? Comment anything down below. I don't care what you put, bud. It's good for the algorithms. Did you, did you like this? Was this appealing to you, bud? Let me know down below. Appreciate you guys for watching, as always. And until next time, man, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Show some cornflakes and syrup down here, bud. Mmm, so good.